<laughs> Our neighbors just got home, so that's exciting. Yeah, you're gonna be peeking in the window. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she, you had to get your candy first, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, she's like, I can't start filming without candy. Hey, so quick update on uh, a <laughs> personal situation. Um, something I've touched on in previous videos. Um, I announced uh, probably about a month and a half, two months ago, about needing surgery down the line, hip surgery. Um, and to do that, we needed to like, cut some calories and get down to a certain weight. And uh, I'm happy to say, as uh, at this point, I'm actually down about 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. So. And you need to lose 80? Yeah, 80 would be uh, preferable. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a, uh, a ways to go, but that's okay. That's what? A month of tracking? Uh, a month of tracking, a month of uh, sort of tracking, like get that, yeah. that getting back into it. For anybody who's ever done it, um, it, it takes... You, it, you can't do it cold turkey. You kind of got to get into it, and it takes a little while to start breaking the bad habits again and getting back into the good habits. And um, you know, you have days, whatever. But we're getting there. What? Why are you looking at me? Nothing. You just ate cookies, though. Well, you made cookies. <laughs> Damn made it. Cookies, because Dexter wanted some. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, twenty pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking good. Huh? <laughs> all right, we'll be right back after this. Hey, all right, so we are back. So we have a couple of boxes, and uh, I like getting back into the pickups. So I went to Think Geek the other day, um, bought some pops in store. I haven't bought pops in the store, and I feel like a while. I feel like every time I go, they there's really nothing. There, yeah, so, um, but Think Geek has had a bunch of music pops that I wanted to get. So I have uh, Think Geek and GameStop have the same program. Um, they're the same company, so it was five dollars off for the month, and I hadn't used it yet. So I took that advantage by to get one and get five dollars off. So let me, I'm really excited. Um, my first pop that I pulled up was Louis Capaldi from the Pop Rocks line. Um, and if you don't know the song, it's Somebody to Love, right? I think that's the title of the song. Is this big? One of his big songs. He had a couple. Uh, I need somebody to know, somebody to have. I don't know how it goes, but that's the song. <laughs> he doesn't know unless the song's playing. Unless it's playing, then I can rock out to it, but that's all right. So, yeah, super happy to pick up uh, Louis Capaldi. Um, it was the last one they had left, and I kind of feel like I wanted to grab him because I think down the line, um, I think he'll he'll have some some worth because... Also, before anyone comments, yes, I cut my hair. Probably about cut her hair. Three inches. Got it darkened. So probably about three inches. Yeah. Because it was all dead. So before anyone comments that, yes, I did dye my hair and get it cut. Mm hmm. Uh, the next one, there's two pops in this line, but I really wanted this pop. Um, Whip it. Because the, yeah, this is the classic <laughs> Devo outfit. So this is I'm gonna get it right up close. This is the classic Devo Whip it. Um, and then there's the yellow outfit from I don't know if it's the Whip it video. I think it's a different song. Um, satisfaction Whippy. is probably the name of the song, which is why they call it the Satisfaction Pop. Um, but I always loved this uh, video as a kid. I love that he actually has a whip in the box with him. Wait, is Satisfaction the weird song that's like, I can hear it in my brain right now? Are you thinking Rolling Stones, I Can't Get No Satisfaction? Yeah. I can't get no. <laughs> I was like, what is man. that song? No, I that's, can't. My that's the Rolling brain. Stones, which I don't think there's a Rolling Stones pops yet, which is kind of surprising. Um, but yeah, so we got we got the Whip It one. I will go back and get the Satisfaction one, but I wanted to get the Whip It one first because I have the Satisfaction soda because they did the Devo soda mm -hmm. in the Satisfaction outfit, and I figured if I got the Satisfaction soda and the Whip It pop, I'm doing pretty good. Last one is not Pop Rocks. Um, Paige didn't know who this was. Box is a little cut on the top, and I'm not even concerned about that. I saw I this still pop. Don't know who yeah, in the video you showed me. But. I, I saw this pop on uh, Funko Europe, and I was so excited that they made it. And uh, you know, it, it's not a director's pop; it's an icon pop. I thought the director said directors. Maybe they all say icons, but John Waters. John Waters is just iconic. I mean, the things he did before what he did, and and just just a crazy dude. And I love the box itself. I love the back of the box it has the artwork with John Waters on there. I love that he's holding like a pink flamingo. Um, 
he's got the little, uh, the, the, like, handle, the little thin, I, I think they call it, like, a pencil mustache or something like that. Just, I don't know, just a really cool pop. Very dapper, very debonair in his outfit and his suit. And, uh... If you know John Waters and you know anything about John Waters, it's just a great pop, I think. I'm just really glad they made a John Waters pop. Super excited to have it. Um, I saw it, I think, on Funko Europe first. And then, because, uh, yeah, I do check out Funko Europe as well. And then I was like, I have to get that pop. And then Think Geek had it the other day. And I knew that was my opportunity to grab it. So I did. Am I throwing out any coupons? Because you never know. All right. So I have a couple boxes here. The first one is a pickup. Um, I think it's a raffle win from uh, Mark over at Stop, Pop, and Roll. I had a couple uh, raffle wins uh, one week from him. It was like a really good week for raffle wins. And if this is the one I think it is, I am so excited. It's something that I didn't think I'd get um, because it was an overseas release. And when they first came out, like, they were selling for ridiculous money. And people were trying to sell it, and people were buying them. And I don't know, Mark had a bunch of them over for his raffle. And uh, there's his card, which I have a ton of. I start sending them out in boxes to people so that they can check them out as we well. We have a whole drawer full. I do, I have a bunch of this stuff. Um, well, see, and you were worried about there not being any candy. <coughs> There is another lollipop for you. Or as you crazy Indianans say, sucker. Don't mess up my Rubik's Cube. Don't play with it. Don't. Let's see if this is what I think it is. Is it? Is it what I think it is? I didn't think I'd have any of these, and I probably won't get the entire set, and that's okay. But to have one of them makes me super duper happy. Um, so this is the Imperial Palace Joker, the 2021 limited edition metallic Joker. This was from, I believe, China. This was the China release. Yeah, good. You could definitely see the metallic when you pull that off. It is the China one. Look at the writing on the bottom. Is it? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Good call. It's okay. I can't get all of it off. No. Guys, I said that because, like... Got, like, the China sticker on the bottom. But, yeah, this is the uh, 2001 limited edition China release. And then there's a Japanese release as well. Oh, he's holding the Joker card. Yeah. So I have the regular one, the regular Imperial Palace one, but I did not think I was going to get any of the metallic ones. And uh, I'm super excited to win that through uh, a raffle. So there you go. I won't get the whole set of them, that's for sure. Definitely not the chase. But I'm not going to even complain because to, to have the one makes me super excited. Um, what do we got here? This one I think I got for you. Um, I think this is more in your line. So this is a pickup from Silverhaired Wolf's, uh, one of her first sets of pops that she put up on Whatnot. Um, Clara now doing the Whatnot auctions as well. Silverhaired Wolf, go uh, follow her on uh, Whatnot. Um, she's killing it over there, selling off most of her collection. So, uh, you know, she has some, some pops listed for sale, and then she does the auction. Oh, she did the peanuts. She peanuted us. Oh, my. They'll get them everywhere. I believe this is the double pop that I got for you. I can't get it out without making a mess. Oh, oh my god, the Lovely. way she packages. Jesus oh. criminy. It's so, yeah, well, okay, here, just put them on the table. Oh, oh I'm going to be cleaning this up, huh? They literally rolled. Yeah. I feel like this one falls in your line. Mmm. It's a limit, Funko, uh, not Funko Shop limited edition. It's uh, the Black Cauldron, Turan and Horned King. And I believe this is the only one in that line. It's the two pack. And uh, I don't, I think my phone is about dead, so I don't even think I can scan it. You can scan that one. Um, it's the limited edition, so it's got the, because there's two stickers on it. So Funko will probably give you the more expensive one, but I think it has some pretty good value. I don't know. I just know you're a Disney collector. I thought it was a really cool pop. 
Yeah, not the same sticker. Not the same sticker. The other sticker, I think, is like $28. Yeah, that's the con sticker versus the shared. But I think it's still like 28 bucks, and I definitely did not pay that much for it. So it was a great deal. Um, so I was super happy to pick it up. Figured if you didn't want it in your collection, I'd put it in mine. But you're the Disney collector, so I think it'll fit nicely over there. And Black Cauldron was a cool movie. I do remember seeing it as a child. Did you show it off? Mm hmm. Yeah. I saw them. Oh, okay. Look at that. I like the back. Yeah, too. Yeah, the back is. So, Claire, thank you. That was a great uh, deal you gave me on this. I appreciate that. And uh, super excited to have that. Why do you have people's names down? In the house. Oh, that was when we were doing the uh, the raffle. Um, not the raffle. Um, I oh, so that was that was to remind me of who I had to uh, link in the video, my last video that I did. So this here is a big box. This is a Funko box. So I know, I believe what's in here because there was only one big order that I've made from Funko in a while, other than the Alice Black Light Drop. If you guys got in on that, congratulations. If you didn't, you didn't. Um, uh, if you didn't, f you. That's what said. That, well, that's what that's uh. basically what Funko said. Um, like that. Look, everybody waited months for that, and then they finally released it. I and just want to point out that they they put it out when we knew everybody was getting two fifty to three hundred dollars for the child for the tax additional credit. child tax credit. Um, Anyone that had kids had the money on that day. Yeah, they woke and up they that, that they woke up that day with some extra money in their account. Um and I feel like there is a hundred percent correspondence between the release date and the, the payment of that because everybody knew that was the day that that money was gonna get paid out. Funko obviously would have known that as well. And I think they timed it right because everybody woke up with a bunch of money in their account that morning. So <clears throat> kudos Funko. Kudos. So just remember every month for the next couple of months, there'll be that check hitting people's accounts. So if the they're, 15th. they're waiting for 15th. any big Funko drops, the, the 15th, 15th, that's the day to watch Funko drops. We got their number now. So in uh, wonderful Funko fashion, we have a bunch of paper in the box. Just going to move these around. I'm looking for stickers. Sometimes they drop the stickers on the bottom and those stickers. Put this back in the box when I'm done. So there are three in here. Two... Three, and that bottom one has two in there. Probably because I bought two of the same. And I'm super excited to have these. Why so much paper? Jeez Louise, Funko. Yeah, they should just buy other size boxes. Really, they've got the small box and the large box. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to open this. I'm super excited for this. Oh, yeah. Look at that in all its glory. So this, I'm super excited for this movie. I love this line. I've got a bunch I've got to fill in from the original uh, releases, but this is the Funko Shop exclusive Snake Eyes with Timber. And what I love is usually the, the box tells you what it is, and this one says Snake Eyes with Swords, because he does have sword, a sword. No, he has swords, right? I think he's got two in there. Mm -hmm. Can't really tell. But it, it's Snake Eyes with Timber, not Snake Eyes with Sword, but yeah. A little hard to see because he's all black outfit, um, but I, I couldn't wait to get these. So, and I'm really excited for the movie. So there's that one, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, this one's the same. So I have two. I will make sure I put the best one in my collection, and then I will have a second one of them for I don't know giveaway or future mystery box. Who knows? And then. I hate these new boxes. Yeah, they're a little weird. I get it because they fit too comfortably, but... So here's my ladies. My two ladies. First we have Scarlet. Now I'm really excited. Didn't we just watch... Just watch what? Beard Pop open these. I think he might have had a video where he just got them as well. Yeah, you're right. His huge, like, Funko haul. Yeah, well, he yeah, he bought, like, one. everything at Funko. So, yeah, he opened everything. Which is funny because I, he's opening them all, and I'm like, we got it. I have it. Yep, we have that one, too. So, pretty cool. Uh, I feel like we have a lot of the same collection. You do. Um, we do. Wrestling, G.I. <laughs> Joe's. Yeah, uh, well, I think we're in the same time period, so we have, we grew up with the same stuff. And uh, But I'm, you know what makes me excited about this is this is all the new G.I. Joe line, and it's basically from the Snake Eyes movie, even though it just says Retro Toys. 
Um, so, and you've already seen the trailer that the Baroness is in it, so I'm kind of led to believe, because I haven't seen, and maybe she was, and I missed it, but I believe Scarlet must be in the movie as well. So I said a few years ago, um, and I, I think this is the route they're going, and I'm super excited about it, that G.I. Joe needs to be redone the right way, because those first two movies, pff, garbage. They were alright as entertainment, but they were not G.I. Joe. I grew up with G.I. Joe, every character had a very distinguished costume. Um, the G.I. Joe toys, each one, you could look at the toy and you knew who it was. I mean, they had such great characters like Chuckles with the Hawaiian shirt and all that kind of stuff. But whatever. Side point. I said that they need to do the G.I. Joe franchise like they did the Marvel Avengers franchise. Do a movie, introduce a character, bring a couple extra characters into that movie, then do another, then do another, then do another. And then do a big G.I. Joe movie with all of those characters. Create the universe. Do it like Marvel did it. Now, they have the Snake Eyes Origins movie with a couple of side characters in there, and I feel like that's 1,000% the route that they're going to go, and that's fantastic. It's fantastic, because that, that's the way to do it. Because G.I. Joe, there are so many. There are literally hundreds of characters that you can have in there, and they kind of rushed the movie and threw them all in there, but they put them all in the same black rubber outfits, and it was like, the thing about G.I. Joe was these characters were distinguishable by their costume, by their outfit, their uniform. Um, and then you made them all the same exact character. You're going on a rant. I am, but because that's, you know, G.I. <laughs> Joe, Joe was one of my favorites. I had a ton of G.I. Joe toys. Oh, God, a ton of them. Um, so anyway, the next one who does deserve to be in her black outfit is the Baroness. So we got Snake Eyes with Timbers, the Baroness, and Scarlet. And I am super excited. And I also don't think I have room in my wall for G.I. Mm -hmm. Joe. So I might have right to move, here. yeah, I might have to move the Jordans around. Because I got the Ninja Turtles, the Transformers, the G.I. Joe, and then Michael Jordan's kind of hanging out there, so... Whoa! You're fired. Um, so we might, have to, uh, we might have to move Michael Jordan to get the rest of these G.I. Joes in there. Um, so yeah, so that's what we got. I'm super excited about every one of these pops. They're all, they're all very particular. Um, they're all ones that I picked. No mystery boxes in this one. Um, so uh, we have a great uh, pickup. We have some uh, store pickups. We have a great raffle win. As always, stop, pop, and roll. Mark, thank you. Um, packing, always excellent. Always excellent deals. And then Funko Shop, uh, uh, the, the G.I. Joe Pops. Uh, I, I couldn't wait to open them. I knew what the big box was. I've been waiting and waiting. And I finally I watched I watched Adam open his, and I was like, i got to do them next. So. And uh, since Paige mentioned it, I'm going to ask you guys. What do you guys think of these? These new uh, sorters like that they're them. using. The double sorters. I'm not a fan of them. I don't, I don't think... I think when you open it for a reveal, it gives away two instead of one, so you kind of have to do it off. And I think they're bulky, and I don't really think they're good for repacking. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm sending gifts to somebody. So, I don't know. Not a fan of them. I guess I get why they do it. It's less cardboard per, per package, but I'm not a fan of them. Guys, uh, that's what we have for you today. Again, we're Who's Your Pop. I'm Rob. I'm Paige. Don't forget to check out uh, all of the uh, people that we have linked below. Go over there, subscribe to them. Don't forget, right now we have the 500 subscriber giveaway going with me and Papa Missouri uh, for Martin Pops. Uh, he has donated graciously and generously the Black Light Ghost Rider Ride Pop. Um, and when me and Papa Missouri get to 500, or when I say we and Papa Missouri get to 500, um, sub subs each, then we're going to do the giveaway. We'll do a live video probably with Martin Pops on there, uh, Brett from Martin Pops. Um, and we'll do a giveaway. We'll figure out the details of that giveaway. Right now we just Wait, know. Wait, isn't that Joe? Yeah, Joe. Joe mm -hmm. and uh, Martin Pops. Um, mm -hmm. Right now we're at about 322 and 326 respectively. So a little Ow. ways to go, but don't forget, share, share, share. Let people know. Send people our way. Post it on Instagram. Um, and then, uh, you know, well, the faster we get to 500, the faster we put a Blacklight Ghost Rider in somebody's hands. So, uh, also don't forget, we have a Patreon account. We use that to uh, help send out AOKs and gifts and, and uh, giveaways and stuff that we do on the channel. Um, uh, that link is below, patreon.com forward slash hooser underscore pop. Uh, all different levels, from support levels to levels that give you um, gift boxes uh, with pops and other prizes in them that he is very bad at sending out on time i'm a slow shipper i i, I apologize um but everything does get there and everything gets there safely uh, packaged because you do all the packing so um 
ADHD, it's fun when you have to stick on a schedule, I guess. I don't know. Guys, that's all I got. Last thing I want to say, actually, uh, we have some stuff listed over on Whatnot. Um, I'm going to take Charles's course and say Whatnot three times a video, so don't forget to get over to Whatnot and check out uh, the new pops posted. Um, and, uh, you know. All that money is going towards wedding stuff. Wedding stuff, yeah. We're, we're, so if you want to help out and get something from it. Yeah. Whatnot. Yeah, basically, uh, I guess that's a good time to talk real quick about the channel. So uh, we will probably be scaling back on mystery boxes for a little while. The next five months, four and a half months, um, is the last leg to our uh, November 20th wedding date. Um, so we are still finishing paying for a lot of stuff, and we are basically doing it on our own. Solo. So, <laughs> solo. I'm riding solo. The last I'm thing riding. we okay. have to do is pay for the rest of the food. Mm -hmm. Um and like the little tiny decoration thing so we're paying extra mm -hmm. a little extra for at the reception mm -hmm. hall um the dj and the photographer yeah last by sunday we have to have 300 dollars yeah. for the photographer for a down payment yeah so which you know we'll be there um but yeah like uh th th this is the this is the road there so um you know scaling back on opening uh some of the some of the mystery boxes for right now so it might be one video yeah, well, week, we'll try to do two videos. Week. I do a lot of lives over on Instagram if you're not following us on Instagram. Um, but we're over 700 followers on Instagram, so I feel like if you're here, you're probably there as well. So we appreciate that. But if yeah. not, go on over to Instagram and follow us. We'll probably do an 800 uh, follower giveaway because then we're right at the cusp of 1,000. And when we get to 1K followers on, on Instagram, I want to do a really, really sweet uh, giveaway. I don't know what, but I want to do a really sweet giveaway. I want to make that huge because that to me is amazing to have 1,000 followers on Instagram. That's insane. And that is. Um, and I hope one day to have 1,000 subscribers here. Um, but we'll get there, you know? So we're at 326, I think, currently. Oh, um, there's the on for There's, all there's you the guys. on. Check it off on your bingo card. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, you know, the channel will still be doing videos. We'll still be opening things. We'll still have, like, uh, we have plenty of stuff that we haven't showed off that we've been waiting to show off. Mm -hmm. I have a very special video for my Funko Pop uh, store coming up that I want to do. I have an awesome t shirt from him. I got some great pickups from him. Um, I kind of been dragging my feet on that because of all the other stuff I had to open, but that's going to definitely be a fun video. I want to show you this stuff and his art and his store and I'm super excited about that and uh, you know like I said we're, we're working on preparing for the uh, the big day and then after that it'll be right back to Funko full force so <laughs> uh, honeymoon and then Funko honeymoon we're gonna go to Everett Washington to the Funko headquarters no, we're not. stand in line for six no, hours we're not. to get pops no we're not that's my honeymoon uh, no we're not and then we can take a no, boat ride not. around there. all right well we'll see you there Funko <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Give me my kiss. Mwah, Funko Honeymoon. Until next time. No. Bye. Bye.